Good morning. Today, oh, I feel shorter than usual. I should sit up. There we are. Oh, today, I want to talk about something that I totally missed the boat on and something else entirely. Uh, the thing I missed the boat on is Doctor Who. I watched Doctor Who recently, all of it from like 2005 straight up until the end of the latest season, and it's so awesome! Obviously, you already knew that. Um, but one of the really amazing things about it to me is not the time travel or the, you know, the adventure or the characters, the acting, all of which is brilliant, but it's the crash. Those moments when they crash. Not not when the TARDIS crashes into things, because that's like every three episodes or so. But I call it the crash. You experience it in everyday life. But Doctor Who's companions experience it more than I think than anybody else. When they when they go home after having all these amazing adventures with the Doctor and they try and return to their normal lives and they're just like, I can't have a conversation about makeup. I can't have a conversation about fish and chips. I've I have watched the end of the universe. I have bigger things on my mind. And you have this they have this feeling that that they have done all these great things and now they are trying to return to their normal, ordinary, humdrum life. And I don't think that this is unique to Doctor Who's companions, or I guess the Doctor's companions. Let's, let's, let's be technical. Always be technical. Because I have the crash too. When we, when we wrap up headshots, it's been two years that we've done it now, and it happens both times, is, you know, you, I get this feeling like, wow, we did something really great. And we did. And then I go back to my regular life, and I'm like, oh, well, this is, this is okay, I guess. I mean, my life is pretty awesome. I get to make videos, I have a good job, I have a degree, I have lots of wonderful friends, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm not making a difference in the way I was in those 24 hours. Even though I know that those 24 hours are the culmination of eight months of planning and a, an untold amount of teamwork. I just, it's a feeling that I find really hard to fight. And I think this is true for a lot of people. A friend of mine climbed a mountain and he describes it as, as the same feeling. It's that I, I climbed a mountain. I will never do anything like this again and now I have to go and do ordinary people things and of course the ordinary people things are what keep your life running I mean you've got to pay rent you've got to go to work you've got to there's things you have to do but I think the the question that we're always asking is well why can't we just do that all the time the thing that makes us great why can't we just do that all the time uh, I'm not about to give you some wishy-washy leadership stuff about how no no you can do this all the time sometimes you can't sometimes you've got to do the ordinary stuff i mean if you've got family to take care of if you've got you know a mountain of student debt like you've got to do ordinary stuff to make that happen and to make to make that get taken care of that's not a sentence but we're gonna leave it in there anyway but chase that feeling chase it every every time i come away from headshots the other thing i'm thinking about is what are all these other things i can do that will be that will give me that feeling that will that will help people or or help you know whether it's help people be creative or help people in hospitals or help people for charities like what can i do that will be great and why don't i spend more time doing that and trying to do that. Because then at least I'm trying. And I'm not always trying. Sometimes I spend a whole day or two days or three days playing Minecraft. And I sort of feel bad about some of those days. But I mean, you got to have days when you wind down. you got to have days when you do ordinary people stuff. You can't, you can't run all the time. And that's the crash. I mean, that's when you, when you sit there and you try and adjust to it and you, you don't, there's this, these moments when you just, you sort of 
you you understand the value of all of, of your ordinary life, but you still can't stop hating it because it's not the thing that made you great. And of course it is the thing that made you great because you had to do all this ordinary life stuff to get to the part where you were great. But we, I, I find that that's really hard to see. If you, if you do, uh, or if you don't, if you, if, if you have an experience with the crash, tell me about it in the comments and tell me the great thing that you did that made you feel that way. Because I want to know, I love hearing about people doing great things. So I will see you guys on Friday with some time travel music of a sort. And that's all I got for today. I will see you on Friday.